Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use transactional data and use a pivot table essentially to display that data and the usage on a monthly basis within a specific year. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the entire data set by just typing or selecting one of the cells and then clicking control A. Once we've done that, go to the insert tab in the quick access ribbon. You're going to then hit pivot table. From there it's going to ask you whether or not you want to select a table or a range and of course I've selected that already. So we're going to just hit OK and we want the new worksheet to be selected because it's just a little bit cleaner. So we're going to hit OK. Once we've done that the pivot table is generated and created over on the left hand side here. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the item and the description. In this case we only have one item and one description but we want to analyze this data and figure out basically how much usage we have each month and we only have a transaction date right now but we're going to use uh, some grouping techniques within the pivot table tool set to uh, analyze this so let's go over to the design tab really quickly I like to show my pivot tables as a tabular format so if you go to report layout you then select show in tabular form we're going to go to subtotals I take off my subtotals all the time and then I'm going to leave the grand totals as is. The next thing we want to do is drag our quantity into the values section of our pivot table. And that's what we're going to be reporting on, of course. And that's the value we want to know how much usage we've had for a specific or all months. So if we drag the quantity into the values section, and we then see that overall we've used 364 pieces in our entire transactional data set. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to pull the transaction date into the column header. And now what you're going to see is the pivot table has already grouped the data. I'm in Excel 2016, so this is kind of a different way of doing it. But typically you wouldn't see this happen. So what I'll do is I'll ungroup it just so I can show you guys how this actually works. So if we go to ungroup. And you'll see every single day and what time the, there was an actual transaction within the past year. So now that we have that, in your case, what you're going to do is you're just going to go to right click. You're going to go group. You're going to select months. And then you're also going to select control and then left click year as well. So now we're going to hit OK. And of course, now you can see that we have the total transactional data quantities and usage by month in our data set. So I've just selected the entire sheet and then I've selected the uh, divider between each of the column headers and I double click it. That's going to actually reduce it down to the exact size of uh, the smallest or the largest uh, value within any of the cells in that range. So again now we can see how much we used every single month with a grand total over to the left and it was a really quick way to view the summary or basically summarize uh, your data and your usage data or your sales, for example, for a given year. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time.